Before we get started, please take a moment to click that thumbs up. It really helps. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to explain as best I can how to update your ledger with the seed words. So there's two options. Number one is if you get a ledger straight out of the box, brand new, when you plug it in and bring it up, it's going to ask you to choose whether you want to create a new wallet or recover. So in that case, you would choose recover. So it will ask you for the 24 seed words. Typically, it will ask you in random order. For example, it will say, give me the 13th word, and then it'll say, give me the 24th word, and so forth. And you just put in the uh, words or choose the words that it's asking for, and that will recover it. Now, if you've already got a ledger that you're using, in order to get that choice, you would need to reset it back to factory. And the way you do that is the Ledger Nano is designed that if you put in the PIN number wrong three times, it will automatically reset it. So if you have to go that route, you'd want to make sure that you had safely stored the seed words that it's currently set up with somewhere so that you can go back to it. Once you've made sure of that, you would enter the wrong pin code three times in a row and it'll reset it back to factory. Once it's done that, then it'll give you the choice of do you want a new wallet or do you want to recover a wallet? And then you would choose recover and answer the prompts for the seed words. And I've already done that once with mine, so uh, I recall that that's the way it was done. The following, for what it's worth, is a video from the Ledger folks themselves that I've added a music track to because for whatever reason there was no audio with their video. So hopefully this may help you.
Well, that's a wrap for this presentation, so cue the music. If you enjoyed the video, then hit that thumbs up for me, and I'll see you in the next video.